Good morning. It is 7.45. Actually, it's 1987. I ain't got no damn watch on. Anyway, let's, I'm moving shit around. Let's get to the caterpillars. You can see them, look at them in there. I actually don't look as bad as I thought they would, but look at that guy. All right, so let's start out by trimming them. Let's, yes, I have to trim my eyebrows. Some of you ladies that don't have bushy eyebrows don't, but I feel like trimming is like the number one, numero uno, uno, numero uno, bro. Numero uno. That's the number one rule. If you have eyebrows like mine. So, I'm so thankful to do these eyebrows today because I've been letting them grow out. I've been having to wear hats so we can I don't know what that, what is this dude? What is this guy? I need some of that tape where they like, I wonder if that works. I wonder if I have any tape. I do have tape. Look, let's see if that works. it work wait do you have to do it like all the way around oh all right don't do that don't do that all right Whatever that was about. Okay. Back to the brows. All right. So, <laughs> we're gonna trim them first. So what you want to do, ladies, fluff them all up, push them up. You see all that? See all those little hairs? And I got this little guy right here that helps me out. Just kinda dirty. You can use a comb too. Sometimes I get a comb and I get in there and I freaking work it out. All right, so let's start out with, and you always wanna like trim it to your eyebrow line. Do you see how my natural eyebrow line is right here? You can already see where it is, right there. So we're just gonna trim outside of that. Sometimes you wanna push up the hair, watch. So you see them little, trim them up, trim them up. Okay. Ah, see, maybe I'm better at this cause I already do hair. So it's easy for me to trim these. Okay, now you wanna go this is where it really get. Look at this. Look at all this hair. Oh my gosh. Okay, so brush it up, brush it up. Ah. Trim it up. And you wanna go with your natural line. That brow line right there. Okay, get them hairs up. This is hard to do looking in a camera versus uh, a middle, a middle. Ah, what's up? 
Marnie's with Amber, subscribe. Hey, that looks kind of neat, huh? Okay, anyway. Shit! Oh! Okay. Wow, looking in this mirror. So I'm just gonna look in my own mirror and show y'all because it's a little difficult looking in the camera. Looking to the camera. It's not as clear. It's not as clear as the mirror. I don't even know what language I'm speaking. Okay. So now I can see the brows very clearly, people. Chop. And look, okay, let me show you. Because I grow hair this way, but I also grow my, you see these little guys? Who invited you to the party, bro? Nobody, nobody does it better. All right. Trim the brow, trim the brow. Trim the brow, bro. So right here, oh, wrong way. Right here, boom. I'm gonna look in my mirror and show you. Bam, bam. So you wanna trim it even with your brow line, like I said. Looks good. With the brow line, you see, you want to go with the brow line. Okay. So make sure you got all the trimming done. Fluff your eyebrows up. Make sure they're all in place. Because you know when you wake up in the morning, well, I do. And your brows are long like this. You wake up because you sleep crazy and then your brows are all crinkled together, curly, or facing this way. Blah, 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 bam. Ooh, folk, 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 folk. Yeah, those are my brows. Anyway, so we want to make sure they're not long this way. So brush them up, brush them up. Okay, I see some little scragglers, some little. Scragglers in there, bruh. Scraggler. Scrag. Scraggler. Bam. All right, so that looks pretty good. We trimmed that one. Looks better. Okay, now on to this one. Same thing. Let's uh, brush it up. See, look at all them. And you always want to go with your brow line. Never cut them. You don't want to cut them too short because then you'll be able to tell you did. So just go with the brow line. Go with the brow line. Go, 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 go with the brow line. Go with the brow line. Go, 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 go. All right. I think I was saying go, 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 go with the brow line. Go with the brow line. All right. Anyway, see them little guys. And I've also used regular scissors. You don't have to have these. They're just a little bit more convenient. You can use regular scissors. You can use, you don't have to use this dude. You can use a comb and scissors. If that's all you got, use it. Mokos. Got mokos. Mokos. All right, anyway. All right, move. Okay. And again, we got another hairy one over here. Hairy one, hairy. So we'll brush it up, look at me, look it, look it, look it. Listen, Linda, listen. See that? And be still. Oh wait, I can't, okay. Now we're gonna trim, trim the brow. And, oh, trim the brow. Trim the brow, okay. Good job. If you're following at home, good job. Can't see you, but I know you're doing good. I have confidence in you. Okay. Now keep doing it. Keep trimming them, or not keep trimming them, but keep brushing them up. See if there's any more scragglers. See? Who are you? Oh, my nose. <laughs> you. You. 
to go. <clears throat> you might need to brush them up a few times, see? It's like they're trying to hide from me. Bam, bam. There we go. Better. Let's see how that looks. All right, that looks good. Okay, next. So, what, where do you want your eyebrows? Where do they go? Where do they start? Where do they end? Where? So, you always want to start your eyebrow right here on your, the corner of your eye, right here, the very corner of your eye. You want that to come up and be like the start of your eyebrow right here. So if it goes over a little further, which this one right here usually does, you can see them little hairs right here that I get that wanna go over further. No, we take them out, take them out. We take them out. Not that aggressive, but we take them out. All right. So we start a plucking, a pluck, a pluck, a pluck, a pluck, a pluck, a pluck. This brow never like gives me any problems. It is always pretty even with my tear duct. Is that what it's called? Tear duct? Tear duct? Okay. So, we're just gonna plug around it. Less is more. Don't go all happy trying to plug into that brow line. Plug around it. Leave mainly the whole brow line. You only want to pluck them little scraggly hairs around it like those. And right here though, since it's right about there. So you want to cut these little ones off right there because it's not even. If it goes over this line right here, you want to take them off. So let's take them off. Okay. And all the ones in the middle, we're gonna, I'm telling you ladies, I haven't plucked in forever I wanted to wait a little bit longer to see if they got longer but I couldn't I couldn't take it anymore people okay So I still got a little couple dudes. You can see them right here. Take those off real quick. Let's see. Okay, okay. All right. Ouch, ouch. Okay, that hurt. Mm. So take off your guys all in the middle. Just the middle. Don't do any steps ahead. So it looks like I'm pretty cleared up right there in the center of my caterpillars. Okay. All right. As you can see, it's super duper red. But anyway. I like my hair. Anyway. All right. So we've got the middle plucked. Okay. Now we can go on to this part and this part. So what I do on that, I never really try to pluck so much to where you're gonna try to shape the brow. I usually go with my natural shape that I've got going on, which I have, it's a little bit thicker right here, and then it slowly goes into a thinner piece right here. And that's how I usually do mine, that's how they've been shaped. Um, if I would have let them grow a little bit longer, they probably would have been had more hair right here, but so what we want to do is you can see like a little bit of the hairs underneath right here. So what we want to do is just kind of pluck the free hairs right here. We don't want to get into the brow. We just want to pluck what's surrounding the eyebrow. I usually try to go for more of like a straight line right here. And then it'll kind of curve and make that little curve deal right there. But right here, the initial startup of your eyebrow, I usually try to do like a little flat surface and then go into the arch. So we're just gonna pluck around the brows, kind of have just like a little free, K. 
canvas right here, okay? And then up into it, and you never wanna pluck too close to the brow, unless you've got some that are just hanging out. Okay, now we're gonna go to here. So you can see how it looks real scraggly because you got all them little hairs in the way. So let's just pluck them out of the way. You don't want to go into the brow. Never go into the brow. Never pluck close to the brow because that's how you're going to have thicker brows is the more hair you have. If you're trying to let your eyebrows grow out, I suggest maybe let them let them grow out for a few weeks. Take some of the, I like the sugar bear hair vitamins. Those really help with the growth. Um, but never pluck into the eyebrow, especially if you're trying to let them grow out and you're trying to get them a little bit bushier or thicker or more hair or anything like that. Don't ever pluck, 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 don't pluck, pluck. Don't pluck close to the brow. Pluck around it. In the middle, yes, line it up. And then you're gonna pluck right just right there, barely. So let's do that. Just get these few little hairs out of the way. If my tweezers are gonna work. Okay. Okay, and then sometimes you got these little hairs over here that are tricky, you don't know what to do with. So on the length of the eyebrow, let's get that, he's out of place. We don't want him. So you wanna go a little bit skinnier, but not skinny. You still see how my width is still thick? You still want it to be thick. You don't want it to be super skinny because when you go to fill in your brows with your pencil, you wanna have some space to color in. You don't want it so thin to where you color it in. It doesn't matter if you have gaps, like you see how I have a gap right here with no hair? It's okay, because we're gonna fill it in. As long as we got the base, as long as we have hair to fill in the spot, it's gonna look okay. Now, on your length of your eyebrow, you always wanna go to this corner of your eye, always with the corner of your eyes. You're gonna start here with this one, and then right here, you wanna kinda end it right there at a diagonal, like if you would do your winged eyeliner, it's gonna go just like that. So let's pluck them few that are out of place. Not too many. Let's see, and this guy up here, he's out of place. He, we ain't gonna be up there. All right, so I think that looks good. You don't wanna do, like I said, you don't wanna do too much. All right, so that one looks pretty good for now. Let's come over to Okay, remember, we're gonna pluck just a little underneath. Just some little scraggly hairs. What's on there? Can y'all see here? No. Okay. And then we've got these little dudes. Remember, never pluck into the eyebrow. Always pluck around the shape. Around. So we've got, wow, those are super hurtful. Ouch. Ow, 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 all right. Man, that hurt. It's been a little while, look how red I am. That's making my nose run. It's not painful, not at all. Okay, that one looks pretty good, people. All right, now, next step. All right. All right, next step. I don't do this all the time, um, but I do it to get that sleeker eyebrow look. We're gonna wax, and when I wax, I can't wax the middle or underneath because my eyebrows are too thick. <laughs> I guess the hair on my eyebrows is super coarse and thick. It won't 
come off. And it's just a lot of pain. So, what you want to do, okay, what we're going to do on this, we're just going to wax this area. That's it. And we're not going to go deep on, we're going to, you don't want to go like right here because then you're going to wax your own eyebrow. So you want to just line the wax right above it because remember, you can always take your tweezers can always take your tweezers and pluck them few little extra ones that you don't get. Remember, because wax, once you, once you wax, you can't go back. Once you wax, you can't go back. I tried to make a thing out of it, but it didn't work. All right. So on this part, you want to brush your eyebrows down. Brush them down. So they're not sticking up and you want to get in that wax. So brush them all the way down. Okay. Okay. Now. Ah! I touched the wax pot. It's hot. And I bought my wax off Amazon. I could post a picture of the one I got, but all right, ready? So we want to go right on the edge, right? Never let that wax get in your brow. So shoot it up, okay? Okay, ready? And then careful with the wax and then we want to go right there okay and I always try to like to do a strip together because I've learned you never want to double wax you will strip your skin off <laughs> yeah I've learned that all right so let's go down can y'all see me let's go this way and like I said, if you need to leave it above, leave it above the brow. We're not trying to get the brow. We're just trying to get the scragglers that are above the brow. See? I could put a little bit more right here. Okay, let's make sure it's all good to go. Okay. All right. Ah! Ah! Okay, we're good. Okay, there we go. And this wax is a self pull wax. You don't need these. You don't need those. Okay. So we'll let it cool. I guess we could put the other side on while we're waiting for this one. Sure, why not? This wax is thicker than a snicker. Thicker than a snicker. Thicker than a snicker. Okay, next, next. Eyebrow two. Same thing. All right, let's see how I'm gonna do this. So we already got enough wax right there, so we're just gonna, ah, don't let that get on the brows. Okay, there we go. Oh, it looks so cute. Uh -huh. Okay. Almost. 
almost done. Make sure we get it all the way. Make that thicker to pull. All right, I think that's good. All right, I'm gonna show you. So, see how I've got it around the brow? Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay, so let's pull this one. You always wanna pull away from the hair growth. So if the hair is growing this way, like mine is, you're gonna pull this way. If the hair was growing this way, you would pull that way. So, ready? Count to three, one. <laughs> Two, <laughs> gotta prepare yourself. <laughs> Just kidding. All right, ready? One, <clears throat> two. <laughs> I don't want to do it. All right, one, <sighs> one, two, three. Ah! Okay, went to bed. Want to see it? You do, don't you? You do. You feel the animal. All right, that's disgusting. Let's not do that again. But do you see? Oh, girl. My eyebrows be popping. All right. Ready? Uno. Do. Don't pull it slow. Pull it fast because that hurt. Like. One, two, three. Ah! See the hairs on it. All right. Okay. All right. So now we're good with that. Now brush our hairs back up. Yay. Okay. Plucked, waxed, trimmed. Now they're good. You see how I still leave it a little thick right here on the edges? That's what you wanna do and see how it's even right here. Even right there. It's a little thick right here still on the edges. Lined with my brows. And you know what, right here when it's lined right here, you can go a little bit over if you want. But don't have your brows like this where they make memes about you and they're like, I'm this close to losing my shit and your brows are sticking right there. Okay, anyway. So now we're gonna fill them. When you're filling your brows, never get the color of your brows. Like my, my brows are obviously black or like the darkest brown, black basically. Never, if you got black hair like I do, never, never fill your eyebrows in with black eyeliner, black, uh, brow pencil never do that because they're gonna look you're gonna be able to tell that they're filled in you always want to go with like um a shade lighter than what your brows are like i still do a brown this is a a deep brown from uh let's see it is Too faced why isn't it not cleaning out on that Too faced chocolate brown brow pencil okay so you don't if you, let's see you don't want to fill in your brows too much to what on this smells like chocolate doesn't taste like anything all right so what i do with my brows i want to create an underline some girls will do the concealer and line their brows. I'm not that big of a makeup person. I don't like to do that every day. Plus I got caterpillars for eyebrows, so I really don't need to. 
You can if you want, then make them more defined, but I don't. Okay, so you wanna make, right here, you see how my line's kinda patchy? So you just wanna fill that in. You can already see the pencil filling in a little bit. And right here is where I'm real patchy. But you wanna just draw the line of your eyebrow down here too, look, okay? So just draw the line all the way out and on the top. Draw your line and right here on the edge you can extend it a little bit because you're not going to be able to tell once we blend it in. See you can already tell a little difference. So make your line on the bottom. Make it a little bit more solid instead of patchy like mine is. And then go on the top and do the same thing. So you can see where your brow line is. There you go. So you can already see it kind of making a line. Go with that and go in here too. Okay, so make your line like that. And also what you wanna do that I've learned, when you're blending your brows, don't just sit here and go like this. Okay, I'm done. You need to move your head. See, my brows look okay like this, but watch, once I move them, you see, you can see all your gaps. And that's, you gotta remember how people look at you, how people see you. They don't see you just straight on. You see yourself straight on like this when you're doing your makeup. But when people see you from the side, from the corner, you need to make sure that they're not seeing the gaps in your brows when you turn your head, see? You see the gaps right here? And you don't see them when I go back. So make sure you turn your head, fill those gaps in, and turn it again if you see more filament. Keep that straight line, okay? And see, there's some gaps right there you could see. And just, I just kind of color it in like this. Okay. And then you want to go in and blend. You can really see that harsh line right there in the blending. So just go in and brush your eyebrows out. Blend that line in to where you can't see it up here. Blend it in. And like I said, on the corner, you can draw it out a little bit if you want. Just a little bit. There you go. That's a lot better. See, there's a little bit right there. You want to turn. See, now it looks all good. See, bam. You just want to turn at all angles and make sure it's filled in. There we go. See, see the difference? I have a, I have gaps right here in the front of my, the beginning of my eyebrow. Bang, I'm so red, look at that. Oh well, all right. Same thing right here. Go in on your bottom half. Go ahead and draw that line all the way through it. Bam. Let me find a mirror so y'all can see. Draw the line, you can go through it. Draw it on the top a little bit. And then start going in and coloring right here. It doesn't matter if you have a brush, if you have this one, if you have a good eyebrow pencil with a brush on the end, this is what's obviously to comb your brows, but this is also gonna blend Gonna blend your brows. All right, so let's, basically you're just gonna color it in. And like I said, if you get a brow pencil that's uh, one shade lighter than what you're gonna do, that works out better. All angles, that one looks pretty good. Get you up there. Okay, make sure I have a lot of patchiness on the ends too. You can draw it out a little bit if you want. So let's blend all this. I'm just gonna brush it through and it'll blend the, it'll blend it for you. See? Check it from all angles. Yep. I think that's pretty good. Make sure you don't have any of the color coming off of the brow. You wanna make sure it's all in between. You don't want to have a little bit showing. And the people, oh my, they're so red. Okay, people. <laughs> I think we're done. Golly, I'm so red. I need to wax this too. 